I'm here to do a reading for my beautiful Aquarius. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have Journey. I'm hearing someone is taking advantage of an opportunity and somebody is going after it. The Journey is giving me like a leap of feed. Coffin, yes, yeah, something is ending, 10, 10. Um, which is an ending, speaks about also a celebration. Somebody is taking a, um, like someone feels like they got an opportunity and they're taking a leap of faith and they just going after it. Hi, Arna. Um, this is something that your ancestors, your spirit guides could be nudging you to do. Yes, because there's a gift that's coming in. Something is about to change. Something is about to change. Okay, there's a gift that's being um presented to you. A beautiful opportunity. Congratulations. Yes, because I heard with the journey card, somebody is taking advantage of some type of opportunity that's coming in for them. Um, family room, mature man, lovers. Somebody could be upset about a choice that you're making. Mm -hmm, because you listen to your intuition when it comes to a lover connection or a family dynamic. Somebody could be feeling left out in the cold with the poverty card. Great fortune. Because somebody could see you as like a gift. Like I'm getting whoever this person is that feels left out in the cold. This person never had someone to show them like the love you showed them. Like somebody never met someone like you before. And somebody could be upset that you get like a brand new life or a brand new opportunity. Yeah, sudden well, like, <laughs> somebody could be upset about something that's being gifted to you, so let's see. Let's see. Perseverance and regret. Somebody could be in regret that you're moving on. Whoever this person is, they can't even take their mind. Somebody can't take their mind over you at this time. I feel like someone never met someone like you. Something could have happened where you have, you know, you decided to go a different way. But I'm picking up with the high honor. Somebody's ancestors or spirit guides could have been nudging them to um, walk away from a situation. Yeah. So something changed. Give me some Holy Spirit. It's something that you didn't see, but somebody was obedient to the spirit guides and the ancestors. Um, to end out some a cycle. Yeah, we have patience. Um, I accept that everything happens in divine order. So someone is definitely um, somebody is patient with the divine. Mm -hmm. Something is happening in divine order. Yes, yeah, self esteem. I feel like this is something that is giving me like self care. Somebody doing this for themselves. Maybe, uh, maybe um, someone you was in a relationship with, or a family dynamic, or someone who you consider family. Someone doesn't see why you're doing what you're doing, but you're doing what's best for you at this time. Yes. The, the self esteem is giving me like self care. Um, you're accepting that everything happens in divine order, like. Somebody is not questioning whatever happened. Like, they like it right. You know, it happened. And I'm leaving. Yeah, love, service, and guilt. Somebody could feel um, guilty about sabotaging a connection with something, with someone that, you know, they seen as so beautiful. Because I heard earlier, like, somebody never experienced someone like you before. Like, they never had someone, they never experienced someone to show them the love the way you have. With well, love, service, and guilt. Somebody could feel guilty about not, you know, not this connection not working out. Um, doing something that, that caused you to end out a cycle with them. Yeah, success under the bottom. With courage and freedom. Oh my goodness, I see. It. Whatever this leap of faith is, it's like... <laughs> It's going to be a, a major success. Like, you had the courage to do this. And I'm hearing with the self-esteem, I picked up on self-care immediately. So, it's something that you're doing for yourself. And you're freeing yourself. And it's going to bring you a lot of peace. 
It could be a lot of people um, that doubted you that are going to come back around and want your forgiveness now. You know, maybe whatever this journey is for you, you had a lot of doubters. People didn't believe in you. And now they want your forgiveness, you know. But I feel like, you, you know, you freed yourself from, you know, situations that just... People that just didn't serve you anymore. So give me some more Holy Spirit. Give me some more, please. Thank you. Give me some more. Somebody didn't believe that they could experience someone like you. Maybe this person held back with the emotions and they feelings, and now somebody feel like you're getting away. Give me more Holy Spirit when it's energy I'm picking up on. Okay. Somebody could be feeling guilty for being, somebody could have been very abusive, whether that was mentally, physically, or emotionally, but they could be feeling guilty about that. We have pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant, pregnancy, baby on the way, or about to give birth. Um, if you guys are pregnant, congratulations. Um, congratulations. If you're not pregnant, you just could just be birthing um new things at this time. Yeah, you just doing you and letting go would just no longer serve you. So if you are pregnant, congratulations. For some of you guys, you will be getting pregnant. <laughs> For the ones who still can be a kid. Um for others of you guys, you just you just at a, at a point in your life where you just birthed in, you know, you just birthed in new things. It's some type of gift that you're being gifted from your ancestors. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more, please, I think. That's a big deck. <laughs> This is a big deck. Again, abuse. Somebody could have been very abusive. Okay. Um, somebody could have energy abuse. So somebody could have been like an energy vampire. They abused the power when it came to this connection. Um, abusive, energy abuse, sexual, physical, mental, verbal, or drugs. Somebody could just or you just do something too much. And we have energy. So somebody definitely could have um, abused their power or just overdid it when it came to you. Yeah. Confirmation. Here's your confirmation. And energy. How does it feel, boo? Tap in, period. So you're tap you put your energy back, Sunseeds, from whoever this energy is. You put your energy back. Yeah, you received some type of confirmation from the higher-ups, and you pulled your energy back. And happiness, happiness, joy, love, comfort, relax. Uh, happiness, joy, love, comfort, relaxation, and prosperity. Yes. It's like now that you put your energy back from whoever this abusive person is, um, you're now going to receive happiness and joy and love. Somebody, somebody didn't want to let you get away. I, I feel like you want to receive, like, not only whatever this gift is from the divine for some of you guys, it's love, it's um prosperity, it's um it's career. Hard work pays off. Energy could also involve coworkers or a boss. So you guys are receiving happiness when it comes to your love life and your career. Play chess, not checkers. Make your next move your best move and do not get played. Yes. Somebody could have been trying to keep you attached to time. Somebody was stealing your energy. I'm just going to be honest. Somebody was trying to steal your energy. Somebody has seen you as a gift. They knew you was abundant. They knew you was fertile. Where you was, a, you know, you could use a great manifester. They knew, somebody knew you was going places. 
Mm-hmm. And they was trying to they were trying to manifest off your energy. They were trying to hold on to you because somebody somebody abused their power when they came to you. And somebody answered to snatch them right on up. Like these spirit guys like, no, get, you gotta get let's get you here. Yeah, get on up out of there. Health and breakup. Um, health, pay attention to your health, physical or mental breakup, a breakup, separation, or possible divorce, time to leave. Yes. Somebody was just stressing you out. Like, something was unhealthy for you. Okay? And it was causing a lot of chocos and conflict. And somebody answers and the spirit guys was nudging them like, this situation is not for you. You kept getting red flags about a situation. Yes. And yeah, yes. And we have black magic. Yes, somebody was trying to do, could have been trying to do black magic. It says black magic, negative energy, evil, dark witchcraft. So somebody could have been trying to send some type of negative energy your way. And you decided to free yourself from this energy. Yes, abundance. Somebody knew that you was, you was, <laughs> I told you, somebody knew that you, the abundance was attached to you. And I feel like with this patience and self-care, because, I'm sorry, patience and self-esteem, but intuitively I channel when I see self-esteem, self-care. Somebody was afraid of you uh, putting yourself first because somebody knew if you put yourself first and work on yourself, focus on yourself and heal yourself, you was going to be able to see somebody for exactly who they were. And you was going to free yourself. You was going to receive, like, your, 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 your downloads was going to be more clear. You know, it wasn't going to be, like, foggy because this person was in your energy. Maybe... You ignored the red flags. Maybe you seen the red flags and you just kept going. But it, it just seemed like the more that you focus on yourself with the self-esteem, you put yourself first, you 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 see something more clear. You got like a confirmation that whoever this person um abusive and energy, somebody was abusing the, you know, this it was uh, abusing your energy. They was taking you for granted. You know, because they seen you so abundant. You know? Um, yeah, your ancestors and your spirit guides was like, no, let's go because we're not going to let this person play you. And you started focusing on your next move. That's why you're making your next move your best move. A lot of you guys are focused on your happiness and your career right now. What make, what fool you up? What makes you, makes you feel good? And you can have a lot of people that want to come back that's very apologetic about not believing in you, abusing, um abusing this beautiful energy that you brought into their lives. You know, how you made people feel good about themselves. These people could be experiencing health and, health and breakup. They could be going through health problems since you put your energy back. It's like with the black magic breakup and health, it's like whatever energy that they was projecting to you is going right back to them. Because the more you fill yourself up with, you know, with love and, and self-care, you know, your energy is being purified. And now you can stand in your own energy because you have all of these other energies gone. You already on in this journey with this coffin. You already left the building. And now something is being ricocheted and it's going right back to sender. Yeah, they feel guilty. I'm telling you, guilty... It says guilty, shame, lies. They did that shit. <laughs> I love these cards. Yes, they did that shit. And Spirit said, learn the lesson. You learned the lesson. Hell to the no. <laughs> Hell to the no. Yeah, somebody, somebody, you, I'm hearing you, somebody who's supposed to be in the spotlight. You know? Somebody who you treated right didn't want to didn't want to see you in the spotlight. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Somebody wanted to dim your light, but I'm hearing you're meant to be in the spotlight. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Celebration. I cannot make it up. It won't ever will. Celebration. Accomplishments, wedding, parties, graduations, and achievements. Somebody is meant to be in the spotlight and they was dealing with an energy that wanted to dim their light. That's that's just not what they they the they the hand that's not the deck that they was dealt. It just wasn't. Finances and guilty. Somebody could be going through financial issues. 
they could be feeling guilty. We got two um, guilty cards out here. Somebody, it says, we got guilty here. And we have guilty here. Somebody feels guilty. It says, again, shame, lies. They did that shit. Somebody was trying to steal your money or somebody could be going through financial issues because of a third party. Okay, something could have happened a year ago. Yeah, spirits. Spirits around you. Now spiritual activity um, activity or contact. Yeah, somebody's spirit, guys, tapped in was like, listen, that right there ain't what it is. Hell yeah. A strong yes. Use your magic. It says magic. Use your magic. Get creative. Magic is within. Magic is within. Yes, that's that gift. High honor will change. Somebody answers the spirit guys was like, use your magic. Get creative. All the, the magic is within you. You can create whatever you want. We have give high honor and change. Yes, create that abundance. Take that vacation. The choice is up to you. You know, be careful. Somebody was, they, you was being nudged to be careful. Okay, maybe when it came to friends, friends, this energy involves friends and associates. Yes, I'm telling you, crack the deck, ancestors, your ancestors are here, your spirit team. What did I say with high honor? Somebody, ancestors and spirit guys is all up in this reading. Talk to them, spirit. They was warning them about a lover. Okay? Or friends or family dynamic. Ancestors is here. Like, yes. <laughs> manifest that. Somebody manifested a soulmate. Yeah, they just had to be patient. Yeah. And and, and and with this patient, it says, I accept that everything happens in divine order with the lovers. Somebody got a soulmate that's coming in. Yeah. A soulmate that's coming in. Somebody else was tripping and bugging and real delusional. Yeah, alignment. Keep going. This destiny. It says alignment. Keep going. This is destiny. All is well. All is well. Somebody else was toxic as fuck and they was actually in competition with you and study working with you. They they were trying to manifest against you. Where they do that at? Yeah, you'll be shocked. Brace yourself. Shit is about to get real. It, it really is getting real for whoever this person is. Mm-mm. Let's let's get some more. Yeah, somebody they was coming up against you like for what? Eight of swords to the four of pentacles. Somebody is like really feeling guilty and real depressed right now. Cause it was like something just wasn't enough. Somebody wanted somebody wanted somebody everything. They wanted anything that you could produce, they wanted it for themselves. And and at the same time they wanted to dim your light. How that work? Like what? Anymore, it's very yeah, but with this black magic and break up and help, somebody could have been trying to do some magic to keep some, you know, like you know. the tower in reverse. Wow, king of cups energy. Now, somebody, I mean, everyone to earn your trust. Somebody felt like you was like a safe place to them, like a safe haven. Somebody could have been trying to avoid a tower. You can have your guard up towards this energy now. The tower. Somebody was trying to avoid a tower. Yeah, judgment. This person is under the under the judgment now. Yep. Conspiracy, what they was trying to do. Give me more. Two major arcanas with the first two cards. It's like somebody wanted to give you less than what you deserve. Not a swords. I'm telling you, somebody is having anxiety. They stressed out with this black magic breakup and help because somebody, something ricocheted. It's like the moment you separated, it went right, it went back to them. I'm telling you. Give me more. They have an anxiety, can't sleep. This person gonna be feeling haunted by their decisions with that guilt. Cause they whatever this is, they did that, they did it. The seven of cups, this person is all in their head. Page of Wands. This person could be one to message you. The devil. Ooh, child. What the freak? Ooh, this person could be one to message you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Yeah. The hangman. Damn, somebody was trying to keep somebody stuck. 
Somebody wanted somebody stuck so they wouldn't move on. Damn. The higher friend? You learned yeah, the, the, the higher friend with the um with the ten of wands, with the seven of swords. You learned this lesson. You learned this lesson about whoever this person was. They were sneaky. I'm telling you. Somebody answered the spirit guys was like, oh hell no. What's the tower in reverse? Please and thank you. The tower in reverse is clarified with the death card. We got Scorpio out here three times. Definitely Scorpio season. Shout out to all my Scorpios, my fellow Scorpios. Happy birthday. Um, and yet we have nine of cups. Ooh. Something is changing. Eight of cups. Mm. Somebody feels like some type of wish, wish fulfillment got away. You got away. Yeah, the chariots. You got the hell on. Queen of Cups. <laughs> you got the heck on. Somebody is all in their feelings. Well, all of these, with this Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, somebody is in their feelings. Nine of Swords, they in their head about. Mm. Five of Cups, they in regret. They sad. Somebody is mourning this loss of you getting away, Sunsee. And they feel guilty because somebody somebody was toxic. You didn't deserve that. I'm hearing you stay on this person's mind seven days a week. Three of Pentacles. They could have worked with a group of people to come up against you. This could have been a group of people. Eight of Cups, you walked away. Yes, the full card. You freed yourself. I'm hearing you will always be this person love. Like this person will always have love for you. What's the full card? I feel like even though you leaving, yeah. Even though you leaving, this person will always have love for you. What's the two of cups the full card? Some of you guys, you freed yourself from a soulmate. Two of swords, as you felt that was blocking you. The magician. Give me a card the magician. Six of swords. Yeah. This is you moving away to calmer waters. Somebody was a blockage. This person was supposed to work with you. Instead, they worked against you like... How can I steal your energy? How can I manifest off of your energy? Um, how can I make my life just as, you know, glorious as yours, um, King of Swords? How can I dim your light and put myself in the forefront? Somebody, <laughs> it's, not, it's not in a birth chart. You know, I'm not saying it's not, you know, they're not meant to be in the spotlight, but you were trying to take somebody else's shine and dim daylight. If it's not in your birth chart, then it wasn't for you. Also, all of this dark, somebody is toxic as hell. God and divine, you know, source, you know, whoever you deem as your, you know, your higher power, they don't bless no mess. They don't. And don't let the don't let the enemy trick you to think that you 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 being blessed because they they can easily snatch that up. Don't let the tricks the spirits you know trick you. Somebody got tricked and thought they was winning something. Somebody is special. Somebody is an earth angel. Somebody is protected by their ancestors and their spirit guides because they mean well. And somebody only was seeing how they could just take and come up from somebody, and that's not right. King of Swords being here with the Sun card, something got exposed. The truth. Eight of Pentacles. Mm -mm. That's why somebody with this, uh, the Magician to the Six of Swords, somebody guys was moving them away, like uh, to Karma Waters. Like, no. Like, they spirit guys showed up. Can I have a card on the King of Swords? Yeah, it's like somebody's in so much regret and they sad because something did not work. They could have worked with a, a you know a group of people to come up against this one energy. I cannot make it up. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Eight of Swords, and now they're all in their head. 
The Ace of Wands. King of Swords was clarified with the Ace of Wands. Eight, eight of Swords. The Ace of Swords. This person's having anxiety because they, they, they got the... the Somebody has received the message. The page of wands. They got the message. Whoever they worship or whoever they deal with or whoever, somebody got the message. Like, listen, this person is still getting a, a, a passion new beginning. This person received the truth and clarity about you. Whatever you had behind the scenes that you thought was going to work with this energy, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, the chariot, I'm telling you. The moon card to the chariot, they get it on. Page of Pentacles. Somebody got receipts that you was toxic. Ten of Swords trying to take them down. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This could have been somebody's counterpart. My nose itching. Damn. Mm -mm. What's the Ace of Wands, Holy Spirit? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun card. Somebody who worked on themselves, mastered themselves, been putting their hard work and dedication that deserves joy and happiness, fulfillment. You know, they, they deserve this prosperity because they put in the work. And somebody who all in their head, okay, wanted to have this energy. 8-8 eight, eight could be significant. You could be sitting numbers 8-8-8-8. Eight, 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 eight. We got 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. Somebody seen somebody very abundant. They seen that they was destined to have prosperity, to be happy when it comes to their love life and their and they financial wealth. And somebody wanted somebody to be stuck to them. Yes, but now that you see the truth, you, it's Ace of Swords, you see the truth that this person wanted you to be stuck to them, okay? And somebody, it could have been like, do, you know, something to do sexual, you know? But because the ace of wands, the king of swords, it's like this person was gonna be cold and detached. And they was gonna come through and then lay the pipe. You know, so they could have this 888. How the hell that work? Ten of swords, ten of swords to the ten of cups. I'm telling you, there's an ending here. Yeah, somebody is about to get justice, karmic justice. For whoever this player was that wanted to come through, swing the mic. And then thought they was going to manifest off of your energy. Nah, nah, nah. Somebody got the message like, hey, hey, partner. Partner. That what you was trying to, over you know what? That what you was trying to sacrifice over there. That ain't, ain't work out like that. Four of wands. Six of cups. Somebody from your past can't let go of you. This could have been married to this person, in relation with this person. Four of Wands, Holy Spirit, Four of Wands. Six of Wands. Somebody is getting a message that <laughs> you're about to get some type of success, rewards, accolades, um, a new home. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been going to school. You could have been stressed out while you was going to school, but you still you still graduated. You you still about to be celebrated. You still got you 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 still about to get that degree. You still made it through. Yeah, somebody don't understand. Like, I did everything. How the hell does this person is still is getting this stability? How they still going to be celebrated? All about the intention. Four of Swords. Something came to rest. Will of Fortune. Four of Cups. Yeah, something has changed because you have healed. You have healed. Anything else for the spirit? Give me another card on the Knight of Wands, Holy Spirit. Give me a card on the Knight of Wands. Thank you. Knight of Wands clarified with the King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Ten of Swords. Somebody feels betrayed because somebody thought they belong they was gonna gain something. Yeah, four pinnacles. They thought they was going like somebody thought they was gonna gain something from you and still hold back. Like they was gonna get some type of wealth or something out of this situation and still hold back from you. Now this person feels like they they got tricked or betrayed with the ten of swords. 
Give me a card on the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit. Thank you. King of Wands. All these kings. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Wow. So this is you standing your ground. This could be with multiple people. This is not just one person. This is a family. This is you see the ten of cups. This is a, a family with family room being here. This could be a family, a relationship, friends. It's multiple people. Seven of Pentacles. People that you had a lot of time in with. People that you know over the years. The will of fortune, something is changing. And you got a bunch of people, they angry, but a bunch of people angry with the Knight of Swords because you standing your ground. Yes, the temperance. Something is happening in divine timing. And, and maybe these people are shocked. They probably are shocked because they can't believe that you standing your ground. They're like, hell no, 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 no. I remember when I used to play on this person vulnerability. Like, what the hell? Give me a card on the temperance. Yeah, three of wands. You turning your back. You turning your back, Sunseed. You like, uh-uh. Heck no. Let me see something. Yeah, somebody cannot believe it. They like, you standing your ground? You standing your ground. Yeah, they was going the wrong way. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Somebody don't like the fact that you're you're happy. It bothers them. Apology. Somebody wants to apologize. Someone wants your forgiveness. I told you. It's going to be a lot of people that doubted you that want your forgiveness. Yeah, they want your forgiveness. Now that you freed yourself, you had the courage to go and free yourself and you got a lot of success. Or you will be. Whatever this journey is, it lands you to a lot of wealth. And you got a lot of people that's full of the type of way. Fork, uh, fork in the road. Yeah, because you made a decision to move on. Yes, growth. You grew from the situation. And now whoever these energies are, they're obsessed with you. Very much obsessed. Yes. Because they see you fully in your life purpose. Somebody was trying to confuse you. That was that black magic. They were trying to confuse you to keep you stuck. Stagnated with that hangman in a situation. But you see right through it. Somebody cannot believe that you see right through them, Fancy. Give me more of the spirit. Yes, something has come to a complete end. And we're, like I said, we're definitely in Scorpio season. So this is a season of death and rebirth. Angel numbers. Skeletons. Somebody can be seeing a lot of angel numbers at this time. Somebody is fully being guided by the divine to fully go towards their life purpose and leave these energies behind. Somebody learned the lessons that they needed to learn. Okay, the past is the past for a reason. You cannot bring the past to your future. Somebody knows that their future is here and is, is waiting for them. Skeletons, secrets are about to be revealed. Yes, yeah, secrets is a, revealed about these energies. And now they had a breaking point because they realized that you see right through them. They were, someone was someone is not who they appear to be. They were trying to catfish you. Yeah, because they wanted some type of upgrade with the Christmas, around Christmas time or New Year's. They was hoping to get some large sum of money from you by lying to you with this new line of study. Somebody thought they could be fake. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Transformation Halloween. Somebody was expecting something. Today is Halloween. Somebody was expecting something to change by today. Somebody was expecting to get some, some type of money to trick you out of something by today. Something was supposed to go through today. But you already left the building I heard earlier. You already gone. Yeah, they was going the wrong way with this hidden truth. Trying to marry your energy. Oh, shit. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before we close this out? Please and thank you. Yeah, desiring you. Someone is desiring you. It's multiple energies that are desiring you, but they're getting caught up. 
they're getting caught up. Mm-hmm. And I, I felt like it was a bunch of people that were jumping to conclusions about you. And Spirit was guiding you. This is the Six of Swords guiding you away from these energies because they was being childish. Toxic family. This could be your family. Someone who you share a child with family with this pregnant card. Someone you consider family. But it was a lot of, it was a, yeah, altercation. Addictions. These were people that was addicted to seeing you in some type of like confrontational atmosphere. Like they was they was addicted to seeing you in chocos and conflict. But purify, your energy is just too pure for that. Damn. Mm. Bunch of people desiring you now. Like, oh, I wish I would have did things different. I wish I hid. I wish I would have came against that energy. Yeah, you shouldn't have. I'm hearing great things happen with you. But you 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 push through. So so many beautiful things is about to like, you know, come to fruition in your life. Congratulations, Sun Seeds. Let's get some angel message before we close this out. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Angel messages, please and thank you before we close this out. Thank you. Fairies. They see you as very angelic. Fairies. And we have goddess. Exactly. You are a goddess. Confirmation. <laughs> you are a goddess. These people see you as very angelic. It's like when you gain balance over your life, you got grounded. And they did not see that happening for you. They did not. They just like, oh my goodness. Yeah, you got... <sighs> These people was like... Real toxic. You had to stand your ground. It's like once the moment you got balanced, you got grounded. Heart chakra. Yes, you do everything out of your heart chakra. Archangel Raphael. A lot of you guys are healers. Or you could have healed your heart chakra. Ear chakras. Notice that messages that appears as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Somebody listens. Somebody listen. Past life issue. This situation has a basic. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Action angels to help you remember, release, learn, heal from your past experiences. Somebody has healed from their past. Their past is no longer, you know, taking a toll on them. Somebody has freed themselves. Somebody had the courage to free themselves from their past. And now somebody is fully walking into their life purpose that's going to lead to a lot of success. And you got a lot of past life people that just, you know, feel in some type of way because you decided with this journey and coffin to end things. We have listened to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. And somebody was obedient enough to actually listen. I heard and it saved their life. Period. Sacred chakra. Throat chakra. Emotional sensitivity. Somebody is really, really tapped in. Like, really, really. Like, when I say tapped in, like, no made-up shit. Really tapped in. <laughs> Straight goddess. Talk to him. Tell him. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> talk to me nice. And don't talk to me at all. I hear you, Sunsies. I hear you. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm rooting for y'all. And I'm proud of y'all. But whatever this energy going to resonate to, you deserve it. You decided to take this leap of faith and go on this journey, okay? And you got people that's just like, damn, like, uh-uh. They were trying to avoid a tower, hoping that they wouldn't get a tower if they make amends with you or be in your good graces. But, like, they're just like, just because, just because um, you want to apologize to my, um, <laughs> my earth angel, just because you want to apologize, I, I didn't forget what you did with such, 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 and such. Because we see the Page of Pentacles. Spirit got receipts on somebody. Like, I remember at such and such, May, da da da, 1980 something. I remember when you tried to take them down and da 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 da. Oh, you think you about to go and live your life and get scot free? Like, it's like some energy I'm picking up like that. Like, Spirit got receipts on somebody who's trying to, like, come for you. Okay? So maybe they thought that, oh, you know. They forgave me everything all right. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to go on with my life and everything. Go no, Spirit's like, no, I remember that. Queen of Swords, I remember when you tried to do that to that person. 
I remember. And somebody like, damn, yeah, they want to apologize because that's what they were supposed to do anyway. They never apologize. Not as towards and reverse. Somebody is having a lot of anxiety. They can actually be feeling haunted. Like where maybe somebody needs to speak to like a, some type of therapist or something. Queen of Swords to the Page of Swords. That's the truth. And they stalk you and they watch you so much. Mm -hmm. Well, Sunsees, I love you. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. Um, and so we get up next time. <laughs> My Sunsees. These cards are all reverse. Yes, anything you need to know about me, Sunsees, will be in the description box. Congratulations for whoever. Yes. To the cups to the empress you walking away you confident about it yes you got some you got some i'm telling you somebody got some receipts on somebody they know something about whoever was hiding something from them. they know and they was like somebody was trying to avoid the tower by trying to get back in your good graces thinking like oh well if, you know if I'm, if I'm back in this person good graces nothing will happen no you still I, <laughs> They were like, ah, just because that person forgive you, that don't mean that karma's, you know, mm -mm. somebody was real toxic. And they could be, you know, experiencing some things that's going on in their life because of that. Because of what they've done to someone that never, ever meant them any harm. Everything is about intention, you know? It's okay to, like, it's okay to dislike somebody. That's fine. If you don't like somebody, all right, you have you have that free will. You don't have to like somebody. But black magic and wishing people ill, that's an enemy. That's like gossiping, thinking of ways how I can take this person down, stop their forward movement. Like, mm -mm. that's an enemy. That's the one that was trying to do black magic and wish ill and gossip with a bunch of people and, and wanted your shit to crumble. Like, like I said, it's okay to not like someone. That's okay. You don't have to like someone. But to be an enemy and try to, like, want this person's whole life to come crumbling down? Mm -mm. Again, magic. Use your magic. Get creative. I'm sorry. Use your magic. Get creative. Magic is within you. Spirit like hell, yeah. Spirits. <laughs> yeah, spirit guys is not playing. And they not playing. Somebody was a freaking liar. They was acting like they was on your side the whole time they was working with the enemy. But see, that what they didn't know was that you was protected. Yeah, your blessings was protected. Everything about it. Look, yes, I can't make it up. It says protection. Um, you may need to you you may need protection, protect yourself from others. This is your spirit guy. This is that temperance. This is that archangel Michael showing up protecting you and your blessings. Blessings. Blessings are coming in. Have faith. This is you understanding that everything happened in divine time. And the answer is yes. Why? Because you're in alignment. And these people were toxic as hell. They was really competing with you. That's why I said it's okay to like dislike someone. For some of you guys, it could have been your friends. It's okay to dislike someone. You have that free will. But if we, we, we want to be an enemy and working against somebody, like, mm -mm. No. Yeah, that energy don't feel good that they was putting out. It came right back. And now somebody watching you. Do you, boo? Do you. Do you. And you was out there just growing and elevating. 